Good afternoon. Welcome to the forecast discussion for February 25th, 2014. It's currently 12.39 p.m. and we have a few snow showers out there and a few flurries. Temperatures this afternoon are in the mid to upper 20s over the northern interior. A few lower 20s mixed in there over northeastern Pennsylvania. Lower 30s over the New York City metropolitan area and Philadelphia metropolitan area and even along the coast as a very cold air mass is locked in over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Scattered snow showers and flurries will remain a threat through this evening, although no real accumulation, dusting at most. A lot of this precipitation is not reaching the ground. Temperatures tonight are going to fall off, unfortunately, into the upper teens to lower 20s along the coast and mid to upper teens over the interior. Very cold night in a few of these valley locations where you have a very thick and deep snowpack. I wouldn't be surprised if you're falling into the single digits in some of these areas if we get a little bit more clearing and the winds back off just a bit. So, more snow? Yes, but not much. When you take a look at the radar, you can see our current disturbance is moving through. And you can see it's certainly putting on a nice show, but not much bite to it. There's a few snow showers at most, a brief a brief burst of light snow over southern New Jersey, but that's pretty much about it. We have a lot of dry air at the mid-levels, and a lot of this really isn't amounting to all that much. Our next disturbance is currently out in the plains. This will move through tomorrow morning just in time for the rush hour, which unfortunately means we're going to be dealing with some light snow during the worst possible time you could think of. But again, we're talking about a trace to two inches throughout the entire region. And the best potential for two inches will be over southern and central New Jersey. New York City and Philadelphia, I think you only see an inch at that. And that's mostly on cold surfaces. Most of this probably won't even accumulate on any of the roadways as they're already rather warm uh, just by the nature of them being used all the time and railroads and subways and so on and so forth, especially in New York City. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see our disturbance passing to the south. Here comes our next disturbance, rapidly moving east. No major storms at all are on the horizon. And on the water vapor satellite picture, you can see the polar vortex here just dominating the entire weather pattern here, keeping us very cold, but also suppressing a lot of these storm tracks to the south and preventing an interaction with the subtropical jet stream to really get these storms amped up. Now, we're going to have to watch out for a storm Sunday night through Monday. Not everyone's going to see snow, but I think the interior... Better keep an eye on this storm, not only for snow, but ice. So we'll have to watch this very carefully. It's going to depend on how these disturbances interact over the next several days, Sunday night to Monday. The sooner that they start to phase, like we're seeing here, see how this disturbance is approaching and this disturbance is approaching? Well, on Sunday, or should I say really on Saturday, if these two disturbances interact a little bit faster, then what you end up with is a storm track further north and west, and that, of course, is a warmer solution overall. Now, I'm using the GFS model guidance. It pretty much mirrors most of the other model guidance. Now, again, this far out, you do not want to use details for Monday. But I'm going to give you a general idea of the overall forecast here. So, for this evening into the overnight, again, watch out for a few scattered snow showers. Otherwise, not that bad. Sky cloud cover expected and temperatures falling into the single digits to mid teens over the interior, upper teens to lower 20s along the coast. For tomorrow, we'll have that passage of light snow, excuse me, over southern New Jersey and over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. Not expecting much, a trace to two inches at most, and most of that will fall on cold surfaces. So, for tomorrow morning, Take a little bit of time, drive carefully, because with that light snow, you get a little bit more of a slick surface on the roadways, but overall, really not that much of a big deal, to be honest with you. And then for the highs tomorrow, look for highs in the upper 20s to lower 30s. For Thursday and Friday, we'll have generally high pressure and control. A few disturbances will move through with a few isolated snow showers, but really not all that big of a deal. Same thing for Saturday, tranquil weather conditions overall few passing flurries, that's about it. Temperatures will be moderating through the period, though. On Thursday, look for temperatures ranging from the lower to mid-teens for lows and upper 20s to lower 30s for highs. On Friday, single digits to lower teens for lows, mid-20s for highs. That's the coldest day of this forecast period. 
On Saturday, we start to moderate upper teens for lows, lower to mid 30s for highs. Over the interior, you could fall off into the single digits once again. But with the southwesterly flow developing, I don't think that's going to be a realistic uh, potential. But it needs to be stated just in case this high pressure system hangs on just a little bit longer. And then we have our storm for Sunday night into Monday. Now, these disturbances and how they interact is going to be key in determining the storm track here of this low pressure system and where this Arctic boundary sets up. Currently, there's a pretty strong agreement, a remarkable agreement actually, between the GFS and the European model guidance of keeping much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area on the warm side of this storm. Now, for the northern interior, we're talking about much of Connecticut, the Hudson River Valley, northeastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, especially around Sussex County. It looks like right now we're on the cold side, which means snow, sleet, freezing rain. How much? No idea. Way too early to say right now. But the threat is clearly there for a significant impact storm for the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area and really all of the northern mid-Atlantic. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Stephen, if it's just going to be <laughs> rain for Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, what's the big deal? Well, we have all this snow melting. Uh, the ground starting is still hard, so you get runoff, and then you end up with flash flooding and urban flooding. So Monday morning could be rather ugly. Now, to the north of this boundary, let's say right here, this is the 850 line right here. To the north of this boundary, temperatures are going to be in the lower to mid 30s. To the south, they skyrocket into the upper 30s to almost 50 degrees. So we have a very strong thermal gradient that's going to set up here over the northern Atlantic. And any shift in the pattern or any shift in the storm track here is going to be key in determining what to expect with this storm. So let's not jump to details yet. Let's not get overexcited and put out snow maps. I know people are starting to do it. Big red, big red warning signs of snow and, and ice and all this other nonsense. We have to wait. We have to really evaluate what exactly is going to be evolving here and how these disturbances are going to interact. After all, both of these disturbances, this is out in the Arctic, this is out in the Central Pacific, which means we have barely any sampling on these disturbances. So let's wait as we move through the, this week, excuse me, as we move through this week, we'll have a better idea of exactly what we're dealing with on Sunday night into Monday. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information and NJPA weather and NYNJPA weather at Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.